make with easy wood tools. Got the easy chuck and easy jaws here. Going to walk through the process of how to file the chuck T slots and the T slots of the jaws in case you have a jaw that's tight in your chuck body. First thing you want to do is remove all your top jaws. And then in the number four chuck slot, normally there's a pin sticking up there. I've already driven it down with a brass punch actually. Uh, so I don't damage the chuck. Driven it down flush so I can remove all the master jaws. Get those out of your way. You want to have a fairly good needle file. This is a Nicholson mill bastard. I'm going to want to file this upper T-slot area where the top jaw slides through. The lower T-slot is where the master jaws slide through, and there's never any issue with those being tight. We've got pretty good clearance there. But as we nickel plate and heat treat, and things may get dinged in shipping, uh, you may need to do a little work on these. So with your needle file in the chuck body, you'll want to file this surface, this surface, and this surface. Uh, maybe even the outside corners and that's where the chuck jaw passes through so to do that get on a nice sturdy surface when I'm filing I'm, I'm holding up and then I'm holding down to get the top and the bottom of that and then you can flat file here just a little bit is all you really need to do you're not gonna hurt it but uh, you know there may be a little bitty bump from nickel plating that you need to get rid of what the main deal is, uh, our older chuck bodies and our newer chuck jaws, as we tighten up our manufacturing tolerances, as we're getting better and better at making easy chucks, the newer jaws sometimes are a little snug and the older chucks. So if you got a new set of jaws, may need to work on the chuck body, may need to work on the chuck. You know, it's kind of process of elimination when you get the master jaws out. Take one jaw, see if it passes through all the jaw slots. If it does, you're good. You know, you may find a jaw that's tight in one jaw slot and not the rest. Well, that lets you know it's just in this jaw slot. You may find one jaw that's tight and not the rest. That'll let you know it's the one jaw. So if it is a jaw, first thing you want to do is probably get some sandpaper and just flat sand the bottom. So you're, you're sanding this surface across here. Uh, next thing you want to do is maybe need to, and try it, that might be enough. But then you want to sand the top side of that T. So right here. So we're sanding on top of that. Try that. If that doesn't do it, you'll need to sand this width right here. So get a file that cuts on the edge. And get down in there and get that dimension. You know, this is a Nicholson file, but you may try a flat diamond file. I know Grizzly Tools sells a pack of 10 for like, no, a pack of five for like 10 bucks. So once you do that, you'll reinstall your master jaws per your chuck manual and uh, should be good to go.